Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Live. In this episode, we're gonna take a look further into Sketch and Carve, especially the new uh, feature with Sketch and Carve called Blob. So with the Blob, if you look at the video from the creator, from the developer, you can see the the Blob itself will will turn 2D shapes into some kind of Blob. So it's, it has some kind of thickness and it's all rounded, but you can do more like creating plates, uh, so you can rewatch this video. You you might find a lot of interesting stuff, maybe uh, not fully explained by the developer. So I want to talk more a little bit, and yeah, we're gonna make something like this hopefully. So I'm using Blender 3.6.7, and let's just get start to the sketch and uh, doing sketch and carve. By default, if you hit K with the default cube selected, right? You have these options. Uh, I'll just gonna hit OK. The original, the default is gonna be add. It's gonna be performing grease pencil. And so anyhow, let's just start. Okay, so we have default cube, and I I hit K after I draw the grease pencil, and we gonna end up with this uh, objects like extruded. I'll show you in a bit. So I, so yeah, in 3D it looks like this, this shape. So we draw grease pencil and then hit K. That will be like a shapes, like a like a cutter or like a boolean that we can adjust over here. We can control the extrusions, right? By default, the the boolean operation is add. Again, I'm just gonna remove it. So we know we know the drill. Uh, so we draw the shapes and we're gonna turn it into into something else. The grease pencil will turn into 3D objects, but in this case, I want to focus on the on the blob objects. So let's turn this back into add, and then I will switch to switch on the smart join. And if I draw something now, and if I turn on the blob, which is hiding over here, these options, blob options, click on that, and then click on this guy. Now we can see the shapes is becoming like this blob of object. It's not exactly blob yet. It's just like a, you know, if you extrude an object and you kind of smooth subdivide it, it looks a little bit like that. The middle part is flattened by default. Um, yeah, it's flat top by default. This in itself is kind of interesting, not fully interesting yet. We could draw smaller. If we draw smaller, you can see the result is actually more like a little bit like a blob. Uh, we can adjust the height. Maybe reduce the extrusion. Okay. So I'm just going to draw it here. And this is just a 3D for preview. Uh, I like to have this camera as well. So we are always working on the plane of this grease pencil, which is normally it's always like 2D. So this the grid, the grid in on the center of the 3D cursor is where we are drawing our grease pencil and then hit K, right? It's going to be a shape. If you shift right click, you can place the 3D cursor over there and then you draw grease pencil shapes. So that's the process, I think. So the blob is interesting in that manner. Uh, and we can we can perhaps do things like uh, draw shapes like this and creating like some kind of compound donuts. But we end up with just that kind of shapes, which is really weird. We probably want to turn on different mode of drawing. We can turn the compound. Sets is like compound. So that's really useful if you are drawing shapes that have another shapes inside it. Let's say you want to write like a letter, like B, A, letter with a compound inside it. So this is how you draw it. Okay, that's, that one is not perfect, but you perhaps you will get better shapes if you, if you turn on even spacing and you can always adjust the simplify method to be more or less. Okay. 
but that's the shapes with the compound and also turn on this exponential you can increase the exponential so the middle part will will mesh together a little bit better instead of getting the flat areas okay kind of what I want maybe back to our blob so we have control for extrusion uh, the blob is here increase the blob make it more like balloony so you can create a balloon shape like that I have a feeling that uh, Sketch and Carve is really, really good for if you're like a comic artist and you are, do, you are drawing comics uh, in 3D. So it's not, so you, you draw a lot of shapes and you doodle a lot and you're dealing with shapes and that's why you, you probably find Sketch and, Sketch and Carve will be like the easiest uh, modeling tool for comic artists I guess so you gotta you gotta need 3d uh, kind of workflow at some point and perhaps this is the best tool out there at the moment there are, I I know um, if you're using VR as well and then there, there are certain tools that I actually really like like from like Sony PlayStation dream I have seen that being used like SDF stuff but if you are working on the desktop with the blender and you don't need to work in VR, this also could be like a nice method in itself. So you're just drawing shapes and blob. You turn on, turn around the camera, put a shift right click, shift right click and place the 3D cursor over there. And then we just draw more blobs. So that's basically what it is, placing blobs. It's like a Lego, but you are put, putting it in 3D while you are working on a screen space. Draw shapes, grease pencil shapes, and then hit K. You can always go back to the previous shapes. Let's say, okay, let's draw this. Uh, this is the default. You have, let's say you have like a flower shapes if you like certain shapes you can always come back to that and then hit k again right so you end up with this blob um, there's another method that you probably want to know is this remesh modifier if you turn that on and then turn on the remesh modifier and then turn this into voxel now we can adjust the voxel size just remesh it with the base, everything will be combined together and you have this combination of shapes. Okay, so it's a remesh and join together. Yeah, the whole process happens in real time uh, with Sketch and Carve. So once you have these shapes, you can always go to sculpt mode and start sculpting like usual. It's like, now it's a, uh, just a sculpting exercise it's totally different you work with sculpt and then you can use masking and sculpt away the whole process is uh, is really interesting really really different and mind-boggling I think with sketch and carve but I kind of starting to grow and like it I like to I should actually spend more with sketch and carve so I'm just using this balloony cloth filter inflate inflate deflates oh yeah some kind of 3d comics of some sort so let's delete everything again so the process once again uh, where where's 3d cursor anyway k blank start okay so we, we need that kind of starting point and draw something 
kit k view frame selected or oh, i need to select this object view frame selected k shift right click so place the 3d cursor there so we can continue shift right click okay maybe we need to be inside the camera draw shapes draw another shapes hit K oh undo that okay uh, we probably need to have join or sketchy or merge merge yeah merge is actually interesting so there's a lot of there's a couple of different way we can draw shapes in sketch and carve apparently so you, you can actually use a sketchy method or let's try with the join method first you draw multiple shapes like this and if it k it's gonna it's gonna merge that if you use a sketchy method you draw shapes like that and then you hit k ah uh, okay yeah it's gonna it's gonna work like that so you draw Turn off the guides there. I think sometimes, yeah, you draw shapes and hit K. It's gonna join it together. Sometimes, if you draw it in a single stroke, it's a little bit harder. So you want to use this sketchy or merge or sets. The one that's the most interesting, of course, the set method, where you draw a compound shapes and hit K. So B O L. Okay, this one. Oh, every time, sometimes the guys got turned on somehow. So compound. So L O. So a any shapes that with a with a compound like E or A or B, hit K. So you can create a cookie this way. Oh, sometimes fail, isn't it? Oh, that because of the foxhole, maybe remesh got turned on. Maybe I draw things too big or the guides keep turned on. I keep hitting L, that's why. So definitely quite interesting tool probably not easy at first but once you get a hang of it you really can you can make anything right place the cursor there make the leg make the leg place 3d cursor there you want to make horn or wings place three cursor there draw an eye like that um, you can also you know just boolean the other way around oh you need to place it correctly otherwise it's not gonna boolean shift right click And you can also you can also turn on project projections. It's the weird. It's just like the most unusual modeling tool that's come in. Uh, that's part of Blender add-on, but also using grease pencil. That's a different 
compared to others like box cutter or grid modeler sketch and carve is really quite unique wow okay it doesn't project isn't it shift right click place the 3d cursor there and then draw things project it and once you're done finish with everything yeah so that's basically the whole things i want to show you uh thanks again for tuning in uh again happy new year and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye